And so if you identify with the overwhelmed you know, feeling this time of year, things are busy, you're overwhelmed with all this going on at work and, and the pressures and, and all that. So, so I hope that this, this is an encouragement to you. And then, you know, also the, 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 the people that feel, you know, just defeated today for a number of reasons. Maybe you feel like you continue to fail. And whether it's at work or it's at home or, or maybe in, in your faith journey where you feel like, man, I've, I've been blowing it. Like I've just failed. I haven't, I haven't been showing up to church or I haven't been spending time in God's word. I haven't been praying. Or maybe you feel like, man, I've been caught up in sin and I, I've, I've made some mistakes. I've given into temptation. And so mm. I'm overwhelmed with uh, shame and, and, and guilt yeah. and, and, and just feeling you know, bad about myself. And, and, and so maybe you identify with that and, and you're defeated and you're like, man, I just can never seem to win. And, and the answer is the same. It's turn to Jesus and, and trust him. And I know it's like, oh man, it sounds so cliche, but it's like, that's what, that's the choice we have. Are we going to run to him for his grace, for his love, for his comfort, mm -hmm. for his strength to then, okay, maybe we, maybe we got knocked down. We got a little, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm hit on every side, but I'm going to turn to him and we're, we're going to turn this thing around and, and we're going to repent and we're, we're going to move forward in truth and, and recognizing, man, wait, God still loves me. God's grace is still available to me. Yeah, and I, I want to speak to that just for a moment because I think so many folks who, you said it so well, Bryce, but it can be a little legalistic. And we think we'll, we have to pray a certain amount of time. We have to read a certain amount of time. I'm struggling. We think maybe the Lord has turned his back on us because of my failures. That's why I'm feeling so defeated in these moments. But I want to remind everyone who's listening or watching today that Jesus truly wants your heart. That's what he wants more than anything else. And if he has your heart, your desire, your longing is to pursue him, man, he will draw near to you so you don't have to feel that defeated sense that the enemy wants you to feel. He wants you to be in a defeated state. But God has something much better. So give him your heart, not a portion of it, but all of it. Let him draw closer to you so you don't have to feel defeated. Amen. Psalm 145, 18 and 19. The Lord is close to all who call on him. Yes, to all who call on him in truth. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help and rescues them. Mm. And so are we, are we crying out? And, and, and are, are we coming to him you know, in humility and, and calling on him in, in truth? And, and so, um, man, it's, you know, it, it's hard enough in, in sports to, to lose and you get blown out and dominated and, and it's hard to keep going. Uh, in, in sports, but, but in life, when we feel that same way to, man, I, I want to keep going. Well, the only way we're going to do that is to turn to him for help, for rescue. Now, you know, the, the Raiders, I don't think anybody's rescuing them this year, right? The Raiders <laughs> are done. There, there's nobody walking through that door for the Panthers that are going to rescue the Panthers mm -hmm. and, and turn this team into a playoff team. But the good, the good news for us today is that Jesus offers victory. So, yeah. so we have victory in him both now and for eternity. And, and so he wants us to, 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 to endure and persevere and overcome. And, and, but, but again, we've got to rely on him for that. And so not to remain in this, this state of, well, I, I, I give up. I can't do it. Hey, expectations are different for all of us. Whether you're playing quarterback on a Sunday for a professional team or you're in an office setting, whatever it may be, expectations are different. But we have to remind ourselves that as much as we want to honor those ahead of us, our boss or whoever it may be, we're ultimately living this life to please Jesus. Amen. And when you have that as a mindset, you're not so worried about expectations as just saying, I want to honor Jesus. And whatever else that looks like, hey, it might be difficult at times, but I don't have to stay in this same state of defeat or being overwhelmed or whatever it may be. Man, keep my eye on the prize, right? As an athletic reference, man, we are running. It's a race, but it's not a sprint. It is a marathon. Amen. Amen.